Hello, welcome to the Pauper League. Uh, you may be wondering why this card is available in my Pauper League. That is because something weird's going on with MDGO. I think it might be Outlaws of Thunder Junction. It might have had a the vault cards or whatever. It might have been put on Arena or something that have managed to randomly downshift some stuff. So I found I was able to put this in my Pauper deck. So uh, I wanted to see if I could... I wanted to try to figure out a good deck to put it in. And I thought, well, Thoughties is good as protecting combos, right? So let's just put it in Goblin Combo. So uh, it's pretty standard Goblin Combo. I took out like the one Duress and the couple of... Uh, Mesmeric Fiends to put these in. Uh, I also have been dealing with a lot of monkeys because, uh, what do you call it, Gorilla Shamans, because uh, Glitters is everywhere. So I've decided to cut all my uh, untapped artifact lands. Uh, I've kept the bridges in because they don't get hit by the monkey. And like, and I had to tank out the Kalkan Shaman because I didn't have as many um, artifact lands. So these are just now in the board. Other than that, deck is well, exactly the same so you just pretty much need to hit uh, putrid goblin plus scope prospector with a first day class and then you get infinite mana because this keeps persisting and from infinite mana you just try to dig until you hit either this which lets you dig for your actual wound condition which is this so usually you try to hit a goblin matron which gets you the dark dweller oracle which then digs to the makeshift munitions uh i've played the deck before most people know how it works uh, in the sideboard, I now have four Duress because, um, well, Thoughtseize is main, so I've kept Duress in the board. Uh, I'm running a Braid because Relic is everywhere. I've changed Pyroblast to Lightning Bolt because it's just, I don't know, I, I need to either, sometimes I just get locked out and I just need to, like, finish them off with some burn or there's, like, walls has been everywhere and I need to actually, like, interact with their creatures. So, um, run the Lightning Bolt instead and Clark that Shaman. So, uh, yeah, that's the deck. Uh, pretty keen to see how this card works uh, and we'll see how it goes. Alright, round one versus John Koss. Uh, this is fine. We can waste one of them to draw some cards. Ooh. I didn't know we had untapped lands in Pauper. And some weird things must be going on. Alright. Well, they're holding up something, so... Who knows? Can't be dredged. They would have played a treetop creature. They do nothing. Three mana, Grist. Hmm. Something something may be wrong here. Planeswalkers seem a bit rough for me, but... Ooh, Stitches Supply. Maybe everything's just broken. Maybe everything's a common. Maybe I should have tried more cards. Munitions and Deadly Dispute. None of which really help. I need to find a Pestilent Goblin. Alright, so we did the dispute this map token. There's the thought sees. I mean we might as well use it. Otherwise I'm just gonna have to discard anyway. Necrotic ooze. Okay, I don't know what they're doing at this point. I guess ooze copies the grist. I mean that's pretty cool. Uh I can play through a fatal push. I guess to get rid of the salvage. Do I kill this insect token? <laughs> Oh, they hit a stitches of player anyway. Oh, there's a Morsel Hoarder. I know what that card does. I've tried to use that before. Alright, so we know Fatal Push 2 Ooze is in hand. Uh, nothing here helps me. I think I might have to just first day of class to learn. I don't really want to kill this because that just gets them more gas. Because Morsel Hoarder plus uh, Devoted Druid is the combo. I guess I just loot. Because I can get this... Then I'll have four mana. I need, yeah, I need, I need this in play. But I'm not dead. But I could be, if they're like kill, kill one of their creatures to get the other part of the combo. But if I take the turn off to cast that, it's gonna. Okay, there's a putrid goblin. Do I have enough to actually go off? But then I need two mana. Yeah, I'm one off. 
because I need to be able to unearth one of these back. So I can kill them next turn. I just got to hope they don't kill me. Dustworth Recruit is interesting. Attack with everything, that's fine. All right, so there's one unknown. Play Skirk Prospector first. Play Land. Play Putrid Goblin. No, that's incorrect. No, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Sack this. First day of class. Now they might try and push this. Or they could try and push the Putrid Goblin in response. So we will just sack this. Is that the right art? Yes. Okay. It was a promotional one. So we'll sack this to get a mana. Get this. All right. We're going to hope they don't have another one. Because we uh, unearth Prospector. And now we can munitions kill them. I didn't think about bringing Graveyard Hate. Okay, so now we just Matron Chain. So that's the quickest way to get damage. They can see it. Okay. Alright. Well, one game one. Against a pile of cards I've never seen before, except for Morsel Hoarder. I guess we just bring in more interaction. Need a Graveyard Hate. I'm surprised I didn't put Relic in this. I guess, no, I didn't think... I thought it was only going to be playing against Dredge, which this is fast enough against that we didn't need it. Okay, so they are a creature-based combo, so I'm going to bring in uh, three Lightning Bolts and take out these three that I think are a little too slow. Hmm. Now I've got... <laughs> now I've got Bolts and Thought Seizers. And a card that's... I've got to mulligan this. No parts of the combo. Uh, this is fine. I'm going to put back one of the Matrons. Right, and they mulligan to five. They mulligan to four. Alright, let's see what they start off with. Nothing. Fetch lands too. Man. Man, maybe there is... Maybe there is more than just... More to life than just commons. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Voted Druid. Well, that's the other half of the combo that we didn't see last time. So I've got to play this Carnarium. So I can actually have a red source. Now they got two cards left. What have we got? Chalice on two. I did not bring in a Braids. <laughs> Alright, well that makes Fanatical Offering bad. So I guess I just play a Goblin Matron? Maybe I should have had in uh, Gorilla Shamans. So I can't play Putrid Goblin. I can't play them. So I guess I just get another Goblin Matron. And we have to try to beat down with 1-1s. One Can't do that either. So, guess I just... Goblin Matron for another Goblin Matron. Play Skirk Prospector. Pass. And then I can bolt this and start attacking for 3. I took out a Matron. Huh. Alright, well they got more live draws than I do. <laughs> uh... Sure. Oh, I can unearth. I didn't think of that. I can use that to get past the chalice. Alright, so let's bolt this. So I can get in for two. Play another matron. I guess I just get a prospector. I think putrid goblin's just better. Just because it doesn't die as easy to battle push. All right, let's see if the, like, five-turn clock can get there. All right, so play Putrid Goblin. Gets countered. And then we unearth it. Now we attack the three. Our braid doesn't even work <laughs> if I did bring it in. All right, my goal. Hopefully that is drawing devoted druids or whatever. Yep, now the two-drop I can't play. Attack for five. What is this? Okay, well... I wasn't expecting a big creature with flash. Especially in green. I thought it'd just be like a flash panther or something. Alright, down to ten. 
guess I attack again. I hope they don't have another big flashy green thing. That's fine. Take three. Like, maybe I could have waited a turn. Yep. Sure. Yeah, well, we'll see what they're working with. Sure. They couldn't cast it anyway. Uh, I guess I just pass. There's no point doing two damage. I guess that's something. Maybe I should have gone for like a Kaldotha sideboard plan. Yeah, it's just a pile of two mana spells. Didn't even realize that's how my deck was, because I've never had to play around Chalice in my life. There's a Jew. Six mana. For a Morsel Hoarder. Very interesting. I guess I'm just trying to find a bolt, right? Just two bolts. But I only sighted three in. Alright, just pass. And they are doing seven damage a turn. Just four. I'll take four. No, oh, I'll take six. Sure. I keep forgetting that's a thing. All right. I need something relevant. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll concede. They got me on the Mulder four. I thought I might actually have a chance to win there. Okay. So a braid does nothing. I'll bring in the other bolt. Just try and beat them before they can chalice me for two again. <laughs> Alright, yes, I would like to go first. It's not great, but I'll still keep. Got a matron. And I've got some card draw, so... It's a lot of lands, but I'm probably going to be sacrificing this to this anyway. Land is not great. I think I just play this Carnarium. And to pass. I'm surprised I didn't like play a Stitches Supplier or something. Is part of the combo. So we just matron. Probably sack it to the offering next turn. I will get a putrid goblin. Alright, what are they going to do to me? Nothing. I may need to get to a thought seize at some point just so I can see what they've got in hand and I'm not going to get blitzed by a um, endurance coming out of nowhere. Alright, so we sack this. And then if we don't hit a Thought Seize... Ooh, I can't combo off. As much as I would like to. We'll just play this Putrid Goblin. And pass. I think I just gotta hope that they tap out and don't have an endurance. Alright. Uh, sure. And then Endurance. Sure, okay. That's annoying. Now I don't really have much. I guess I can prospect a... We'll see what's on top. It's just another land. Alright, that's fine. If they chalice me for two, I think I lose. I've drawn way too many lands this game. Ooze, sure. We take three. Prospector. I can try and be aggressive. I can, like, bolt that first day of class. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then, like, attack for some amount. I think that's fine. I think I'm just going to pitch a land. Dispute's pretty good. I've already used, I haven't used a first day yet. I think I'm happy enough with just like trying to be aggressive, and then if that fails, yeah, try and redraw with deadly dispute and try and combo off again. So if I just sit there waiting, they're just gonna um, play another chalice on two, and I'm dead again. So at least now I've got a bit of a clock, even though they've got a endurance in play. And they're playing all these lands that hurt themselves, which is always nice for me. Troll is fine. And I've got three cards left in hand. If one's a push, which it probably is, it's probably going to kill this. I just persist the ooze. Okay. Alright, so now 
Now that I've put the pressure on them, they playing defense, which is fair. So we get rid of this land because I've got too many. That's first day of class. I think I want to sacrifice the skirt prospector. Unearth. But I mean, I've got to play it. Otherwise, it's just a waste of a card. Because it just dug me a card deeper. So we sank the prospector and the prospector came back. <laughs> Necrotic Ooze gets the ability <laughs> to skirt prospector. It's every graveyard. That's pretty funny. Okay. Another land. Does nothing. Sure, that's fine, because... Yep. What are they revealing? They reveal another ooze. Okay. So they've got an ooze in hand. Are they going to do it again? Sure. Maybe I should have killed it. Oh, they got another ooze now anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I guess they wouldn't have if I did kill it. Doom Whisperer. I mean, that's pretty cool. Because now you can discard it to the troll and then start paying two life to surveil. I'm definitely keeping this lightning bolt in hand. I'll take that. That doesn't matter. Okay, I just need a persistent goblin. That's all I need. A double bolt. That's definitely something. All right, we'll sack this prospector. Get another prospector. Which doesn't... Uh, I guess I play it. And then I sack this one. And there's Persistent Goblin. So, I need to play... I'll, I'll play it with the Carnarium. And then we sack it. And then first day of class. They have two black cards. They can't Endurance me. Apparently, because that's how that card works. And they're tapped out. Cool. All right. So that means we get to just keep getting cards off the top of our library. And from here, I just got to try to make sure I don't time out. Come on, computer, don't die on me now. <laughs> We're almost there. We almost beat this ridiculous deck. Doom Whisperer? Sure. I don't know what they can surveil for. Oh, I guess they can keep dumping things with the ooze. All right, they can only do it like three more times because I've got double bolt. That's fine. Then they'll probably do it again. Yep, they're not hitting any creatures. <laughs> sure. And then in response to the last one, I'll just shoot them with a bolt. Cool. And we win. And we win. Hooray. All right. Well, hopefully the next round we actually get to play against a deck we know. So... Uh, cool. Well, one Let's see if we continue on. All right. Uh, round two versus Justin C. Um, needs another land. I'm going to keep it anyway. The star might find us another land. Zabaz and a legendary land. Man, cast down's going to be garbage. There's a saga. Man, how come I don't have lands that do ridiculous things? Auto Maton. Take one. Land. We get there. Um, I think I just play Wellspring. I don't know what they can do, but I don't think they can kill me, right? Ooh. Uh, I am an untapped land short. Oh, no, more than that. I need an extra land as well. All right, so I think I'm just going to double Prospector. Because that, like, saves me up some mana. All right, and I hope I don't die. I don't know what this deck does. Ozolith. Sure. Another Ozolith. Sure. Put a counter on something. Ooh. I'm not blocking. Unless I am literally dead. That is fine. And that is fine. Alright. I think we get there? Oh, legendary. I'm like, how did that die? <laughs> I'm not used to legendary creatures. Maybe I am dead. So I attack with everything. So now I have to block the big one. Because I am literally dead. So now I need to hit an untapped land with two draw steps. Can we get there? That is not one. Land? That is not one. Eh, we got close. Because I need to play this. Then I can sack, but I need another mana to be able to 
first day of class off and I can't deal with anything that big so we just concede and hope that that doesn't happen again okay so I think a braids are pretty good here they're running a lot of artifacts take out one thought sees because they're aggressive take out a wellspring because it's slow probably a fanatical offering let me try that one mana off so I get for keeping one lander I guess but yes uh, I guess I can wellspring into fanatical offering and I've gotten a braid if they try and do anything too ridiculous and is very slow but at least it draws cards scales okay well that's gonna make things hurt all right uh, I hope it's not an automaton because that thing had ward so Baz is okay Ozolith okay all right well I don't <laughs> it's like I don't think they can kill me it's always the best thing to say I think I sank this to try and draw a pile of cards okay there's first day of class I'm going to discard a matron because I've got all of them in hand so next turn is play putrid goblin hold up a braid and then I can Goblin Matron. Yeah, and then I have enough mana to Goblin Matron for uh, the other thing, for Prospector. Then I can sack the Matron and the Putrid Goblin with another stack first day of class. That's the other Matron. Okay, so we just play Putrid Goblin. And we hold up a braid and then try and kill them next turn. Ravija. Sure. There's a lot of math involved here. Good thing I don't play this deck. Uh, just my go. And I guess I just hope that they don't have Dismember, even though I don't know what that card does. <laughs> <laughs> or if they play that card. All right, play Prospector. Sacrifice Matron. Sacrifice Putrid Goblin. Ability on the stack. First air class. Get this. Always yield. Always yield. Now we have infinite mana. So we can play Dark Dweller and draw our entire library. And hit the munitions and kill them. Okay. That should do a decent amount of damage. And I can ping them for the rest. Okay, we won. MTGO did not like that. We've got seven minutes left. So I really need to restart. MTGO, at least. Alright, I restarted. Alright, I saw, I saw the abrasion in my sideboard there for a second. Alright, we got a mulligan. This hand does nothing. Too many lands. Uh, uh, no. Sure. Put back. Everything's too slow. Uh, probably just a land. I need to put two back two. Okay, them two. I mean, we'll probably lose because we don't have much time. Uh, I th think I want to play the matron. Next turn. Whew. Sweating up a storm. Graft Digger's Cage. Uh oh. And Walking Ballista. <laughs> sure. It's going to be hard to win through them, too. Alright, I guess I just Wellspring. Bridge, go. And then I can Deadly Dispute. The Wellspring. Yes. Nothing? Okay, I'm going to build that up. So let's Dispute this. Get nothing useful. Yep. And I can't beat Graft Digger's Cage with all the cards I've got in hand. 
Ooh, and, an ex and a thing that exiles things from graveyards. I think I cannot win. There is too much hate. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay, I've seen enough. Alright. Well, we got a game win, which I thought was pretty impressive. Uh, guess we'll see how we do in the next one. Alright, round three versus Lewis is my dog. Uh, we have the new fancy card we will keep. Oh, they get to do it to us. I wonder what they get rid of. We thought sees, because they don't want me to see what they're working with. It could be the mirror. They're playing snow covered, which is pretty cool. I probably could have done that. Yep, there goes Slotsies. I guess I just play this Chromatic Star. Oh no. This only... This destroys my basic lands. <laughs> oh no. Sure. Uh oh. What does that even do? I can exile a card from my graveyard. Oh, that's going to make it hard to combo. If they have another one in hand, and they can... Oh, it's, it's like the Underworld Range Hound. You can't cast it again. Hey! I like it when people are playing cards I actually know. Are they going to exhume it? Except to keep drawing lands. Which doesn't really help. So, wow. yes. And we get... Putrid. What is this? Instant speed kill spell that makes a dude? Come on. Turns off my chromatic star. This is terrible. Oh, come on. What is, what is this? How did they manage to like... Oh, I don't even know. I think we almost, like, we almost got there, I think, because we can unearth this, get Prospector, yeah, which, that was going to happen, let me just play Putrid Goblin, I guess I play this Chromatic Star even though it's useless, and now I need to hit a Prospector, and then something good off the loan. But all they need to do is like keep up four mana to escape this. Oh, I guess they need more cards in their graveyard. Ooh. It's a card. Maybe I shouldn't have played this. <laughs> yeah, okay. And a drone land. Okay. Well, if they didn't have the Tormod's Crypt, I think we would have won. So I guess we just bring in all the hand hate. Alright, I think we need Duress. So we take out Duress. We take out these slow cards, bring in Duress. We'll see how that goes. Maybe a Braid could be alright, but... Uh... Need another land. Alright, this is probably fine. Guess I put back a land. And then I try and duress them. That's cool. Uh, I guess I just duress. Whew. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this. This is non black. Does it? Just does it to anything. And they don't even have to. Okay. Well, I guess I get rid of the card draw, although I have no idea what the hell the rest of these cards do. So, this, you can just cast for free, which is not good. That's a 4 mana destroy Wrath of God. At least I know what that card does, which is pretty useless. That costs 4 mana. That costs 3 mana that they can't hit yet, so I think we just got to try to beat them down while they're stuck on lands. Alright, well, 
Play Putrid Goblin. Push it. That's fine. Comes back. Oh, they hit a land. Well, now they can Necromancia, which lets them exile a pile of things. Which do they even know? <laughs> which surely they just pick first day of class, right? It is the thing that combos off. I'll let it resolve. I choose not to counter. Putrid Goblin. Uh, well, I've got this one still in play. So it'll still help me. I can bring it back. Alright. Let's draw a card. Excellent. Exactly what we want to see. I didn't want to play the Swamp to make them think that I had something else, and they managed to hit every land they need. And now my bridge is turned off, and they get a Tormod's Crypt. And now I can't even unearth this Putra Goblin, so I can't combo. So, we give up. <laughs> ah, well. Uh, when they keep a one lander and they manage to draw their cards, it's a bit rough. So, let's, let's see if we can uh, do better in the next one. All right. Round four. Four versus driver sixteen seventy six. Uh, this is fine. We can keep this. Thought sees again. Man, I wish I had thought sees in my hand. You probably don't even know what half. Well, everyone should know what these cards do. Goblin combo is pretty common. I wonder if they're on the same, like using the same cards as the last person. Oh, I don't even know what this card does. It makes everything a swamp. So I could have thought seized them. Oh well. So now we thought seize them. So they have a removal spell that we saw last time, a creature that is a discard spell, and a removal spell. So I've got to just try to beat two removal spells. I think I get rid of the creature. Because I need to keep like first day class in hand. Interesting. I'm going to discard this Goblin Matron, I think. I might be able to unearth it later. What do they get rid of? One of the removal spells. I think I just Deadly Dispute first. Okay, that's fine. I think I just want to play this Wellspring. Cool. Alright, and then I can Deadly Dispute again next turn. And then what were the other cards they had left in the hand? So they've used this one. This one. I think I discard the land. I'll discard a first day class. I don't need two. If they play another thoughts here's on me, then that's fine. Okay, so now we can draw some more cards. <laughs> Just get Cards that are relevant, excellent. Oh, I can, I can fanatical offering. I keep forgetting these are swamps. All right, we'll draw two more cards. Uh, probably just discard this mountain, and they draw a card. Interesting. Okay, so I am a putrid goblin away. So I guess I just fanatical offering first. Just keep drawing irrelevant cards. Excellent. Uh, just pass. We've got enough lands in play. And this thing is going to make me sacrifice half my lands if they want. Oh, they've got this. I forgot about this. I guess I can get a swamp. That's fine. I've got plenty of lands. They've got nothing. Do I just... I don't know if they've got anything that gets rid of the graveyard. I guess I need this in hand. I think I'm going to... Maybe just like first day... We'll see what I draw. Okay, so we... First day of class. I'm going to pitch the swamp. And draw another one anyway. Uh, and then I'm going to... Play Prospector. 
and Dark Dweller Oracle. And I'm going to attack this Liliana. Which maybe I should have, like, attacked them to be more aggressive, but the discarding cards is annoying. Sure. That means I won't be able to combo anymore. What does this do? The card we put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, exile it with a counter on it. So this doesn't even go to the graveyard, so it does nothing. So I guess I just map token. See what's on top. Thought sees. They've got nothing in hand. I'll put it into the graveyard. And I'll attack for four. Like, if I draw any creature, I can just make it have haste. Oh. What does that do? Oh, it's that card again. That also stops me from comboing off. Uh, sure, I guess. I still can't trade with this, which is nice. What did of that for? It wasn't going to draw me a card anyway. I guess these aren't doing anything. Putrid Goblin. Okay, so we... First day of class. Get this. And then do I do it again? Just have two 4-4s? Four Seems good. Okay, well, I tag with one 4-4. Four four. <laughs> now I have no more first day of class left. Um, I guess I just get another future goblin. I don't think thought sees is needed. And we can attack them for four. They're drawing a card off this land. Oh, they're doing that. They gain three life. Well, that's not good for me. And they can do that again? Rough. Okay. I think I just need to hit a munitions. I think that's the only thing I got left that can win. What are they gonna play? What was in my graveyard that's worth just made the Oh, introduction prophecy. Okay, cool. They draw some cards. But two to the bottom. And they attack, okay. That means uh, it's got menace, so I can't block. So that means I'm just dead next turn. I mean, that's pretty cool. You can do that. That doesn't help me. Munitions? No, okay. I guess I attack with this one, because they're just going to gain three life. And then I play this Putrid Goblin. Sure. So they take, so they go to four. And then I play this Putrid Goblin. I guess I play this bridge. And I attempt to double block this Grief. Oh, no, oh, okay. <laughs> that was, that was, that was closer than I thought it would be. Um, so... This is this is the hard matchup because they have way too much interaction. So we take out unearth because they have a lot of things to do with the graveyard. Yeah, so we just play these. We'll see how we go. Uh, yeah, sure. No turn one thoughts here to see what the plan, but we can manage. So let's just play a future goblin. And then if I hit first day of class, I win. If they don't have interaction. Oh. oh, I can't bring myself to do it. It is so very tempting. I think I need to daily dispute it to... Although I can't get through... Yeah, I need to, I need to get a land. Okay, now at least I can see what they're working with which is some really fancy looking card that looks hard to deal with, uh, but they can't cast it because these only produce one mana. 
I can't cast these, so I get rid of this in case they have some sort of thing they can bring back with it, like that grief. And then I should be able to combo off, maybe? So Prospector, uh, make a uh, red, uh, we unearth this one. And now we sack it. We first dev class. Now we have infinite mana. So now I've got to hope this introduction to prophecy gets me something. <laughs> And those are two good cards. So we'll put that on top, we'll put this on top, play this oracle. And then we'll get this thing off the top. And then we'll play it. So I don't think they've got an interaction. Otherwise they would have used it. That's pretty good. It lets me get another black source if I need it. So I think I'm just going to keep Dark and Dweller Oracling to see if I hit some more first air classes. Okay, we got there. It took up almost my entire clock because MTGO is lagging again and the munitions was on the bottom and I also accidentally attacked. <laughs> so that consumed like an extra four minutes than what it needed to. But we got there. We just run it back and hope for the best. Bounce land and nothing else. A little mulligan. Bounce land and nothing else. I love bounce lands. Uh, sure, we'll keep this. Put back. I guess I need these two, and I wouldn't mind a thoughts he's. So I guess I put back swamp and putrid goblet. I guess if I put him back to Swamp, I've turned off my turn one thought sees. Okay, forgot to bring in a braid. We might be able to still beat them down creature wise. And didn't hit a land. <laughs> Okay, so we daily dispute this. Give me a land, please. Uh, I think I'm just going to discard. I really want to keep this. I guess it doesn't matter. I needed to hit lands. I might have been able to, like, first day into just, like, creatures. We'll see what they're working with. Yeah, they got nothing. We stand an okay chance. Yeah, probably not anymore. <laughs> All right, <laughs> one three. But we've won a game in a couple of matches against all these ridiculous cards. So I'm happy with how we're going. Uh, let's see. Let's do one more. All right, round five versus Risen Winterblade. I would like to go first. Uh, we have the combo. We will keep. A little slow because I got a pile of tap lands, but as long as they don't thought sees me, I think we're good. Ooh, another funky card I've never seen. It lets you put creatures into play. Why don't you just. It's going to be a turn behind. Why don't you just um, cast them normally? I don't get it. Anyway. Another one. Okay. <laughs> Untap land. One time? Never one time. Okay, I guess I just Putrid Goblin play Bridge. Probably not attack because they can bring creatures into play. Cool. It's a good thing I didn't. Cavern of Souls. Oh, it's Goblins vs. Merfolk. Classic Battle of the Ages. I'll take two, I don't care. What is this? Trickster. And I can't counter it. What? Okay. I think that's fine. Oh, it's in my upkeep.
I guess I can, so I guess I can sack this, sack itself, first day of class, sweet, Goblin comes back, and I've still got mana left over, so now I can Prospector, get infinite mana. I think I deadly dispute this putrid goblin now. Well, I've still got black mana. Uh, let's just first day. Let's discard this bridge. Oh well, I'll get that, I guess. They may have some sort of counter spell, and they can just flash in creatures, which could be a problem. Uh, I guess both of these are fine. Shut it down the other way. Black. Draw the Wicker Wellspring. Make two red to use the Wellspring as munitions. So I just need that to resolve, right? So let's offering. Draw three cards. And then I'll just try the munitions. We'll see if that resolves. If it doesn't... Alright, cool. Well, that's good enough. Cool. Alright. It can see it. I didn't have to waste 12 minutes like I have every other time. Alright. We'll wrap a game against folk of some description. All of which seem really cool. Uh, I think... Thoughtseize is still fine. I think we want, like, interaction for their creatures. We could play Card Clan Shaman. <laughs> I don't think we have enough artifacts, though, is my only issue. So maybe we just bring in... Bring in some creature interaction. Take out one Thoughtseize. One matron, one wellspring, one unearth. We'll try that. All right, no lands. Eh, uh, sure. Put back a prospector or a land. I kept. I guess a land. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, shit. Ooh, what is this? It's the land that lets you look at the top card of your library? Man, I wish I had that. All I've got is silly bounce lands. Lightning bolt. That's got to be okay. I'll play this prospector. We'll hold up lightning bolt. And I may just, like, fanatical offering the Prospector at some point. Uh, do I bolt this? It's only a 1-1. One, one. Uh, if I block, let's say they flash in that 2-2 two, two thing. That doesn't really help it. I think I still take it anyway. <laughs> I need the creature in play to sacrifice. To deadly dispute. Ah, okay. This card again. Alright, let's try and kill this. Should have brought in a braids. Spell pierce. Card I know? What is this? But now they can't activate their own ability? So that's nice. And I can bolt it, but I think I just want to deadly dispute it. Or do I just fanatical offering? I can always sack this land later. Okay, this is fine. Munitions might be alright. 
Okay. Okay. Land. Okay. I think I want to kill this. And then, out of munitions, I'm going to kill this. Excellent. All right. So you're saying there's a chance. And it's three cards. And just play this prospector. We're going to keep the unearth for a uh, um, uh, goblin matron or persistent goblin. Is this is uh, a the ooh. I don't think Kutra plans for it. Okay, so I can't do that. That's why they didn't worry about it. Which is fine. I think I'm fine blocking and sacking it to Fanatical Offering. First day class is okay. Keep it in hand. Hand kill this if I want to. Hmm first day. See if they do anything about it. And I'm just going to play this prospector and try and beat them down. Because it doesn't just replace itself. Uh, and I think while I've got that, I may as well do this as well. Now I just attack for four. Because I can't combo because of this thing, so I'm just going to try to be as aggressive as possible. So this is a way to get damage in. Oh, what they got? That's fine. We're going to the races. That's fine. I'm going to turn that. So... Loses all abilities. I think it loses becoming an artifact. So I think I want to shoot the Tide Binder and then do it again and hope there's not that flashy hex catcher. Cool. All right. All right, we take two. Uh, three. Prophecy. Sky 2 draw a card. Uh, Deadly Dispute's pretty good. Thoughtseize is okay, but it does help make me lose the race, so I think I just put that on top. Play this land, attack for four. What is this? Alright. It's dying, I may as well. It did four damage. If the ball that does nothing. They can attack me just for one. They can trade off with that. That's fine. Okay, I think I want to offering this treasure token. Okay, bolt's good. So is Dark Dweller Oracle. So I think I just shoot this and shoot it again. Attack for two. Play Dark Dweller. And pass the turn. And I think we're in a pretty comfortable position. Even though they've got one card in hand, well, now two. That's fine. That's better than a basic. So I guess I bolt this. And then I attack with both. Hey! We won. Goblins are victorious against the fish. We went 2-3. Uh, which, considering the amount of ridiculous cards people played against me, I'm rather happy with how that went. Uh, we might 
I might do a wrap up. So it was a little sad that we went 2-3, but this this whole format is not what I expected anymore. Um I don't think um I don't think if if there's more cards available than just Thoughtsees, I should probably not be running like Yeah, general goblin combo, right? Like I could run other more funkier goblins. Um but in a in a in a world where uh there was rares everywhere uh, we performed rather admirably. Sure, some opponents had bad luck, but we went 2-3 and we won... In two of the games, we won a game against cards that were way superior than ours. So the fact that we can actually do some amount of, like, cool interactions when everyone else... Like, if you've got a, if you've got a game plan to kill people uh, and you act on it, you can do it. As long as they don't have any interaction, you're sweet. So, uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one.